Godzilla. Hello my fellow YouTube viewers. Today I'll be talking about one of my favorite things ever, and that's kaiju monsters, specifically Godzilla. I mean Godzilla. I don't know why I did that way. <laughs> Alizadog. 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 There we go. Alizadog. <laughs> anyway, so today I'll be talking about my top five Godzillas. Why top five? Because I'm lazy to do a top ten for Godzillas. Also, it's really difficult. Also, I also haven't seen all the Godzilla films, so it's really hard to kind of make a top 10. Also, shut up. Okay! Top 5 Godzillas. Number 5. Godzilla 1990s. Or the Heisei series of Godzilla. The Heisei series of Godzilla. <clears throat> Why do I like this one so much? Because this one actually represents the 1964 version the best. He's a mass destruction. He um, Also, for a while there, they kind of made Godzilla the hero. And I personally did not like that as much. I, I mean, I, I'm okay with Godzilla being the good guy in the films, but... In this film, he kind of went back to being the bad guy, and it was awesome, and I, 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 I like that a lot more. And he wasn't necessarily the bad guy, he just didn't really care too much for humanity. I mean, he cared for his kid. In the 90s series, he has a baby, and that's kind of the main like plot line to the 90s, is he, he's just tr protecting his child. And that's what I liked about that, that version of Godzilla. Um... He also was pretty terrifying, and also, he was badass, especially in his last film. He had this orange glow, which basically was saying that he was getting ready to explode or do some weird nuclear meltdown, which would destroy the world. That was an awesome movie. But I'm not here to talk about the movies, I'm here to talk about the Godzillas themselves. And next up, number four. Godzilla 2000. Or the Millennium Series. Godzilla 2000 or the Millennium Series is, um, he's the only Godzilla who actually is green. And he, honestly, is probably one of the most badass looking Godzillas out there. He, now comparing him to the 90s version, God, this Godzilla 2000 doesn't have as many cool abilities as the 90s version. The 90s version had like two different breaths. Uh, and had some atomic pulse. 2000 technically had a pulse too, and then he used that pulse to destroy um, another monster that I really like. And Godzilla 2000, he um, reason why I like Godzilla 2000 a little more is because he just looks more like a lizard monster. He looks bigger. He looks he looks more he looks deadlier basically. 2000 is definitely one of my favorite monsters out there, or Godzilla's, but there's three more that I like a little more, or, yeah. Number three! Now, with the release of Shin Godzilla, well, number three is Shin Godzilla. <laughs> Shin Godzilla, basically, uh, for 2016, Shin Godzilla is a, he, first of all, he's the largest Godzilla to date, he's terrifying looking, he also, spoiler alert, has a split jaw, he, his jaw freaking just goes at one point, it just goes, anyway, Shin Godzilla, um, he's really the most unique out of all the Godzillas. He looks terrifying. He also goes through three. In in the film, they say he goes through four, but they only show three. Um, I think I just missed some information in the film. Unfortunately, it was dubbed in English, and it was Japan. Or it was in Japanese, and it was dubbed in English. So I, I think I missed something in there. 
because they say he has four forms, but I only saw three. I'm thinking the fourth, the first form was maybe a, um, I I don't know, maybe microorganism. I'm not sure. But basically, he he starts off this weird little chicken thing, and it's freaky. And actually, the audience that I was there, they were laughing their asses off for this Godzilla, for the like chicken, like. Rah! It was it was kind of funny because it just looked like he was just wiggling around, and then there was and then he like evolved into a bigger Godzilla, which looked pretty go cool, except that he had really really tiny arms, and I was just like mm, no. And then he turns into this big Godzilla, which you don't get to see the transformation for that one, which I really sh I wish I could. And this Godzilla, not only does he breathe uh, fire from his mouth, he also breathes fire from his tail. Because the end of his tail has a head to it, but I'm not going to spoil that part. No, I kind of just did, but I'm not going to spoil the big, like, weird... What? The movie's great. Watch the movie. Uh, this Godzilla, now, I love this Godzilla a lot. He is the most terrifying. He also seems to be the most powerful. He shoots lasers from his tail, from his back, or his dorsal fins, and from his mouth. And, not only that, he has two different breaths. Two different breaths. Um, he bre he kind of does this thing, when he splits his jaw open, he lets off this, like, flammable gas out first. And it covers the entire city. And then he ignites it with some flame, and it just burns all over the all over the place. And it's awesome. It is so freaking cool. Visually, it's beautiful. That that glow. That glow is pretty annoying. Oh well, uh, ignore the mess in my room, please. Ignore it. Anyway, Shin Godzilla. He's. <laughs> He's the most terrifying Godzilla, and definitely, I, I can't wait to see him in future films. Number two! Peace. Number two. Legendary Pictures Godzilla, and I actually have that movie right behind you guys. Legendary Pictures Godzilla is pretty cool. Legendary Pictures Godzilla, um, I, it, 24, came out in 2014, and holy cow, was it cool. It was definitely a Godzilla film that I, I know some Godzilla fans were like, this wasn't Godzilla. I liked it. I liked it a lot. And I'm one of those people where I'm like, well, they're planning on making sequels, so I'm not going to go into the first film thinking, it's going to be a masterpiece. No, 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 no. I'm more of a guy who's like, well, they're planning on making sequels, so this first film isn't as good, but it's still good. It really is, and I love the first film. I, I watch it all the time. I watch it again and again and every time. And I know a lot of Godzilla fans are like, yeah, but there's so many better Godzilla films out there where they actually show Godzilla. Well, you are correct, but this one's really good. And also... I'm just going to go ahead and say this. This is one of the very few Godzilla films released in America. Released in America. I mean, it's it's awesome. It's hot. It's freaking awesome. I watched this with my family, with my ex-girlfriend, and and we all like breathe. Now, of course, I'm not talking about the movie. I got to stop talking about the movies. <laughs> Reason why I like this Godzilla. Um now, the reason why he's not number one, first off, is just because he looks fat. He just looks too big. Is that is that just me? He just looks too big. I don't know. But he definitely, out of all the Godzillas, he seems... He, he's he's just awesome. And comparing all, all the other Godzillas previously to this one, this one seems to be, in my opinion, the most realistic. Also, this Godzilla's... Fire breath is awesome. Not only is it just like a straight up beam, but it has like this flowy effect of fire. It is the coolest fire beam that I've seen. That light is very bothersome. I'm flipping it off in case the, the lights. Godzilla's beam is just awesome. And also the mo the monsters in that movie were I gotta stop talking about the movie. No, no, no. I'm talking about the Godzilla's. This Godzilla, 
my my one like big thing is that he just looks fat and he but he's incredibly strong I think out of all the Godzillas, he looks the strongest, and out of all the Godzillas, he also looks like he can actually take some damage. This Godzilla is just badass. Yeah. But there's one that I like more. And this one... <sighs> Here we go. Number one. But before I get to number one, here's some honorable mentions. Okay, number one. <clears throat> this, now uh, I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, it's going to be 1954 Godzilla. No. This one is Godzilla 2004. That's right, Godzilla Final Wars. First off, now, uh, I know I, I, I keep talking about the movies, but the movie soundtrack of this film is awesome. Visually, it's awesome. Everything about this film, it's awesome. It's just fighting. That's all it is. Just fight, 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 I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. Anyway. <clears throat> Godzilla 2004 Final Wars. This Godzilla looks the best out of all the Godzillas. First off, he looks, um, um, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, he just looks, he just looks better. Out of all the Godzillas that I've seen, he and Godzilla 2000 look best. This Godzilla also, he, he battles so many monsters in the films, and he just takes them down like they're nothing, like he's just like, there's one point where a monster's just leaping towards him, and he's just like, grab, toss. Oh, he's dead. I'm just gonna keep walking. Final Wars Godzilla is the most badass looking one. Uh, he also has some pretty cool abilities, and he he basically shows this movie shows you how powerful Godzilla really is. This Godzilla also has two different breaths. He's got the, the normal blue breath, and then he's got the red, or, um, orange breath. But you don't see the orange breath until the very end of the film, and he basically just uses the blast this one monster that's one of the coolest monsters ever, and he's just like, you're dead, bitch, and it's gone, and it's just, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Well then, that was my top five, everyone. Uh, hope you all enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed this really crappy camera. Excuse me. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this very interesting video. Uh, my top five Godzillas. Hope you all enjoyed this. See you all in the next video. I'm not doing that again. Anyway, thank you for watching this very interesting video. Ciao.